Hi, this is short guide to Zixi Transcoder. After you log in, up and enter local post column zero zero. You will see the screen. This is the feeder status. Here you see the license status, feeder status, and other configurations. The username and password uh, admin and one two three four. You can change it anytime in configuration interface. And uh, we do recommend to change it since your feeder can be accept accessible from internet. After you entered, first thing to do is define input. You click new inputs. Some friendly name, channel 1, a UDP port, let's say 5000, and if you have, uh, if the stream is multicast, so you need to enter multicast IP here. We also support RTMP streams, which uh, the feeder acts as the RTMP server on the port uh, 195, the default RTMP port, and uh, I saw is limited support only for Linux and for DVIO cards. So we define the input. Uh, I already have uh, some uh, input running here, so when I refresh, I see the bitrate and the programs. If I want to define filter, the filter card, uh, I see the, all the pits here. I can uh, define new filter by uh, I don't know, new pit filter, which uh, just say which pits to block and which one to pass. Also we have a logo insertion. If you want, you need to add the image file and it will be inserted into video. After this is done, we need to define a video uh, encoding profiles. Okay, let's start. For each time, 264. Some friendly name. I uh, choose the encoder. Encoding profile is a It's a consideration for the playing device since uh, some old Android devices and the iPhones support only baseline. The new ones uh, major support main and uh, some support high. If you want to resize the picture, you can enter here or leave it blank, FPS, frames per second, a bitrate mode, is the average bitrate and the max bitrate GOP is uh, in seconds how often the iframe is inserted to the steam the higher value gives uh, better compression the lower value gives better uh, zapping time or when uh, time from when user starts to receive the steam to time when we can see the picture and decode the picture. Uh, three or five seconds, say three. Performance, usually we select the balance, but it's uh, depending on CPU and how many stems you use. B frames, it also, the bigger value gives you the better compression. And frame type, change it only if you know what you're doing. Okay, this is H264 profile, now AC profile. I want AC, again friendly name, a encoder, a bitrate, I don't know, let's say C4. Again, the profile is uh, uh, there's the issue is compatibility with devices. Is low complexity as is, uh, comp uh, as all iPhone and Android devices support. 
After we done that, we go to outputs, new output, and the name. You should select input, which is channel one. Program filter if you want one. And now we should uh, enter the broadcaster address. I don't know. At company home. The port and the new public port is usually to zero eight eight. If you change it in broadcaster, then uh, into the new port. This is not UDP port, this is Zixi proprietary protocol. Channel name and it uh, should be UDP. in broadcaster. You can enter here uh, anyone. Session is for the certification and uh, the max meter is on this channel. Uh, lines you can uh, beef it up up to 30 seconds this is it it's uh, disconnected since uh, there's no broadcaster there but once it become connected you will see bitrate here thank you